Hello, everyone. We'll begin by discussing the differences between the current 840 accounting and the new accounting standard under 842. So with that, one of the first things we would like to do is discuss policy changes and how those policy changes under 842 will affect TRIREA. First, we would look at the practical expedience that are allowed under Topic 842 that a client or you as, a, as an organization may elect as a package. So the first practical expedient is related to accepting the original determination of whether or not a contract contains a lease. And the importance of making this decision is it will help from the onset of determining what lease records you will need to create in Trariga. The second item is related to retaining the original classification that was assigned under the current accounting regarding whether a lease is considered a capital or finance lease or an operating lease. Under 842, practical expedient, you're allowed to continue with that classification. However, you would still need to apply the, the accounting standards under 842 for operating and finance as appropriate. And then the third bullet item that we'll, we can discuss is related to the changes in the components of initial direct cost. The importance of this is under 840, there's quite a few other components that are allowed to be considered part of the initial direct cost, and that is limited under 842. But the practical expedient for this allows you to retain those original components and that original value as you load that value into Trariga. Therefore, you don't need to go back in, dissect the components of that initial direct cost for applying that in Trariga when you set up your lease record. And then the last item is regarding the use of hindsight in determining the lease term. So related to renewal options, termination options, and purchase options, you can use the hindsight in that look back period from the look back period through your adoption date. The importance of this is allowing you to determine what your commencement date and your base lease expiration date would be when you assign those values and those dates to the Trariga lease record. 